I'm very good. I'm very excited to speak with you about your pretty awesome role in this film. You are <laughs> such a badass. What inspired you with the Captain Garza character? Where did you pull inspiration from? Um, I've had a lot of experience with law enforcement and in coming face to face with pretty horrific human beings that they're trying to take down. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I sort of know that. And so because of that, then I just kind of built this character up of what kind of captain would she have to be to be in that position and to get these men of homicide detectives with too much testosterone and giant chips on their shoulders to listen to her, respect her and do what she says. So there you go. I, I can't imagine being a, a cop in this type of town. It feels like being a cop in Gotham. It's just like, don't, this seems bad. <laughs> no, I, you know, looking at this film, I haven't really seen you do a horror film or a suspenseful thriller like this, at least in quite some time. What were your early loves of horror? Did you like any of these films growing up? Ooh. Um, oh yeah, I'm a huge horror fan. I love being Ooh. scared. Love being scared. My first ultimate, you know, to this day will give me nightmares if I see it again. Oh, uh, is Exorcist. Hands down, to me, <laughs> it's the king of all horror, period. Um, but then, you know, I also remember things like Amityville Horror, mm -hmm. more recently, The Ring, um, uh, Silence of mm -hmm. the Lambs, Seven. I, I love those kind of films. There's something very visceral and salivating about being scared out of your mind. <laughs> which, which would maybe play into some of your inspiration for joining this film, but did you want to play around in the blood and guts finally, or was it time for you to solve a mystery? I like the solve mystery. <laughs> I'm more of that girl. I'm happy to scare the crap out of anyone <laughs> and I'll do the blood and guts, you know, as the next person, but I like the mystery of it. I like the suspensefulness and the thriller of it. And I love how this movie does that. Very proud of that. Now, just talking about you wanting to solve mysteries, I don't really know how the script process works for this, but while you were reading the script, were you trying to figure out the mystery yourself? Were you going through page by page, or did you kind of know the overall story going into this? No, I, I had no idea. I had Ooh. no idea. Um, <laughs> and I like that. I'm mm -hmm. not the type of person, like, yes, I like to solve a mystery, but I'm not gonna ruin something and watch a movie trying to figure it out. I don't wanna be catered to. I don't want to mm -hmm. know. It's like when you watch a magic trick, I don't want to figure out how it was done. Like for a second, but then I just want to enjoy the fact that that's the freakiest thing I've ever seen. You know, I like that. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree with you. I'd never want to be spoiled with a mystery. I want to solve it myself. And this film does kind of allow you to solve it along with it, which I love. Now, going on set, you have all these crazy traps and all that. Was it pretty uh, intimidating on set with those traps? It was freaky on set with those traps. <laughs> I can imagine. Like, you're yes. human in there? And how did you think that up? And Same what thing. is wrong with you? Um, you start but Googling, then I got, like... Right? You start, you start going, what? Like, do you need a Why? hug? Do you need a hug? Yes. No, uh, <laughs> oh, no. Thank you so much for speaking with me today. It was a blast. I cannot wait for people to see your kick-ass captain character in this film and get to enjoy some good female power in this testosterone filled movie. <laughs> so thank, <laughs> thank you. you so much. <laughs>